It's that time of the year when days get shorter and spirits get higher. It's also that time of the year when the motivation is at an all-time low. Why work out, you say? January is just a few weeks ago. You can get fit then. Welcome to the only fitness show that will tell you to do just that. With a few tweaks, of course. Welcome to the Men's Health and Women's Health Show. On the show today, how to lose weight and still keep the glow. And our restaurant spy who tells you how to eat all the junk in the world and still stay fit. The best motivation for someone who works out is not a personal trainer. It's a workout buddy who guides, motivates and is your partner in crime. Our next story tells you how to find one. Go on, enjoy Friendship Day. So what if it's the wrong time of the year? Working out alone can be difficult. It's a long hard road and you have to walk it alone. But if you have a buddy waiting at the end of it, you definitely get there. It's a sure shot way to double your chances for fitness success. It's a sure shot way to make exercise more fun. And it's something that automatically creates space and time in your busy schedule for workouts. The term ideal fitness buddy is basically somebody who is at the same level of fitness that you are. Uh, more importantly, who is more committed at the same level of uh, exercise or is committed to the sport or exercise as you are. And most importantly, has an emotional connect with you. So if you're emotionally connected, the person is likely to come with you for exercise, you feel more responsible, you feel more committed to exercising with that person and then achieve your goals. It may all sound too good to be true, but countless fitness seekers have found that the right workout buddy can not only do all that, but much more. I decided to take up running about 3-4 years back. And typically, every weekend or every other weekend, we try to do a 5km or a 7km run, just to stay fit. And I enjoy doing it with Sumitra, my wife. Uh, we've been married now for 9 years. Uh, it keeps us uh, fit and keeps us uh, together for some time, get some time to spend during the day together. Nakul started running one day and uh, it was a good addiction that he had. And he was doing something without me. And I just wanted to be a part of what he was doing. That's the prime reason why I started running and now I'm hooked on to running like him. Often times I would make plans that we should do a run this weekend. But then on it's a Saturday morning, I've had a long week and you really don't want to get out of bed. And the two kids. And two kids of course clambering all over you. So then Sumitra, you know, before I know it, she's already in her running gear and now I'm like, okay, what the heck, we gotta go now. So so then we end up going for a run and even during the run she she sometimes has a better pace than I do so I'm trying to catch up and, and at other times versa, yeah. at and other times it's vice versa yeah there are good run days there are good run patches uh, and consequently you know there are times when you just don't you can't run for whatever reason and your partner pulls you up and then you run together and it's you know you can you can see that in real life too you know so running together has made us strong outside the running time as well you know so we've bonded better as a couple and we're like running buddies now you know you can't call ourselves only husband and wife when we're running just like Nakul and Sumitra Pratik and Yashovardhan are the best of friends on and off the badminton court I wouldn't say he introduced me to the sport uh, but I was very amateurish probably before I started playing with him so uh, because I probably played with people of my level only but because I know him so well and he was a much better player than me so that really helped me improve my game because playing with uh, just people of your own caliber really doesn't make you improve that also probably deteriorated his game but it definitely improved mine and for me uh, like my singles game was decent but you know doubles was something that was wanting so much more from me because I'm used to playing on my own and not, you know, bothering about anybody else. But here, I know that there are certain weaknesses that my partner also has. I need that he overcomes those. I'm not perfect while playing doubles or singles. There's so many things that I lack. Pratik referred to so many YouTube videos and he came back to me and he told me that, you know, this is how you can look to, like, play better. 
so yeah so as doubles as my partner that helped me improve my game the family is always wonder that how come you guys have so much to talk about every evening <laughs> right now it's four times a week otherwise it was like eight times a week <laughs> no but it does I'm affect sure them there's no doubt about it <laughs> like my wife is after me all the time yeah because say i make up a time right i my time also depends on his time mm. so say if i'm i'm at home at 6 o'clock and he's coming at 7 7:30 and my wife is saying you know let's go for a movie at 8 so i was like you know i have to wait for him to 7 7:30 to play a game yeah. he's like why go right now <laughs> do do jogging do something else yeah. so there is a little bit of rift but somehow we are managing it we make we definitely make time it's it's a lot of effort especially with the regular jobs but i think it comes naturally as we really really enjoy it so the, all the time making is 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 just is just part of the game and you know that also helps us in your job uh, because uh, when you know that okay you have a meeting at 6:30 and uh, you are going to play at say 7 o'clock and you know that your meeting is not going to get over before an hour so you try and pay on the meeting you push yourself and you know you speak to the client you know you do whatever you make that effort and you know you come out and play so find yourself a fitness buddy one who can push you when needed inspire you when you're down and learn from you if need be and see the results for yourself Nothing works as well on the show and in our magazines as weight loss success stories. Here's one that promises results and delivers inspiration. Hi, I'm Manisha Singh. I am a fitness professional and enthusiast. My passion for fitness took me to an extent that I left my 4 years of banking career and now I am a mother of a 3 plus child and of course a fitness trainer. back i got married and with marriage i got a happy news after a year of i was blessed with a baby and uh, after the delivery my weight shot up 25 kg more than than what i was i was 54 kg and around 79 i reached motivation factor was the biggest thing getting back doctors told me not to give up on myself everything will be fine don't worry this would me initially to get back to work out it's not easy because your body is different a post pregnancy your back is weak your abdominal muscles are weak and uh, as a person i get bored very easily with the gymming workout and i i need change in my workout started working out with zumba at home only and zumba is quite okay and not too much of toll in your body the intensity is can be variant so i started with moderate intensity zumba and it did help me few weeks time it did help me to lose some weight which gave me confidence that yes i'm going to a next step further and i started stepping out of my home and started walking in the ground and then it it became walking became brisk walking slowly to uh, strengthen my spine which is a very important part of my body everybody's body for that matter i i used a prop called as swiss ball some people call it gym ball to strengthen my spine my hamstrings my core ball is a very gym ball is a very good prop and as my fitness level went up 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 i started with trx doing a squat which is the biggest muscle group quadriceps your thighs it helped me to lose weight and strengthen my legs trx uh, trainer did help me it gave me support to something to hold on oh 
post pregnancy and especially when you are mother and you are lactating the most difficult part is to uh, incorporate a very healthy and less caloric diet because generally when you are feeding you need high calories from milk products and uh, milk products make me heavier I, I know that since the very first day but I have to take a lot of milk products but then uh, slowly I realized that taking high protein diet in the morning and a lot of salads and vegetables in afternoon lunch lots of fruits as snacks nothing else but fruits or nuts and dinner again lean protein and a little bit of carbs because you can't skip carbs uh, being a mother so when I got that sense and actually put that on my plate I realized that did make a lot of difference uh, and getting back to the same jeans same top and now I could uh, buy more clothes from the same size I used to wear so it's it's really great now marathons are always great fun but over the last few years obstacle races like urban warrior and devil circuit have given fun adventurous people yet another way to get an endorphin high today we take you to Alpha League a race that happened in Gurgaon last weekend and at the end of this story, we promise you, you'll want to be an obstacle warrior yourself. League obstacle race was Adventure Unlimited. It was a test of strength, endurance and determination. And age was no bar. From kids to their parents, they were all there. This obstacle race which we see here is about 5 kilometers on track. We have about 20 obstacles. Obstacles are designed in such a way that every athlete will get to test different body body muscle, body part, starting from lower, upper body. So it's a, it's a challenge in its own. A lot of water, a lot of dust, a lot of mud, crawling, climbing, anything you say, it's there inside. I like obstacle races. I mean, you feel energetic after it, and it's good for your health and body, obviously. So it's like it has all positives. So there's nothing against it. And I'm very excited for it. I was very fascinated by this co whole concept of obstacle race, so I thought I would just go for this one. I'm only going to win this. Unlike other races, the athletes are not allowed to skip an obstacle and those who skip have to do burpees, squats or push-ups as penalty to get back into the course. So how did the participants train themselves for this grueling race? Did high interval training, Spartan, various things, um, outdoor training literally and, and just waited for the excitement. For such uh, races, uh, uh, what we need is very, very basic fitness. We, we don't need extraordinary fitness. The idea for us over here is that we want people to come out on the circuit, challenge themselves, try something new. Well, I do running, go to gym. Do a lot of core workouts, something like yoga, something like TRX, a lot of BOSU and other stuff. That's how you're going to train for this. You should be working out at least thrice a week for at least 1 hour to 1 hour 15 minutes. And you need to... Uh, eat right that that goes with all the physical activity plus you have to be motivated enough to run an obstacle run because it's very hard on your on your body hydrate yourself well train 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 have a good diet and enjoy fantastic it feels like i can conquer the world you know there's no limit limit there's no there's nothing that i can't do nothing is impossible that's the feeling it gives me it was exciting it was thrilling it was uh, it kept us on our toes Every obstacle that we were approaching was like, oh, now what's next? And it was fantastic. I loved every moment. If this is something that you are interested in, then very soon Alpha League races are going to be held in Bangalore, Pune and Hyderabad. So gear up yourself as this obstacle race will throw you off guard and challenge you to reveal your real abilities and instincts. A new UK study suggests 
that week after week, our restaurant spy tells you how to indulge in your favorite foods and not gain weight. Here's a special edition on junk food. You can eat more and weigh less. Here's how. When it comes to indulgence, nothing can beat junk food like pizzas and burgers. But can you have it all and still stay healthy? I am at the DLF Promenade Food Court today and I am waiting for our nutrition expert Lavneet Batra who is going to show us a trick or two on how to indulge without feeling guilty. Hi, can I have one filet fish and uh, one uh, yeah. Meg grilled chicken? Today I'm at a food court and it's never a good idea to be surrounded by fast food joints when you're starving. Opt for a milk-based or yogurt-based drink before you order your meal and the whey proteins can help you indulge safely. Today I've ordered from two of the most favorite fast food joints, McDonald's and Domino's. From McDonald's I've ordered filet fish and mac chicken. When it comes to junk food, follow three C's. Customization, choice, and calories. Between filet fish and mech chicken, go for filet fish. It is lesser calories, lesser cholesterol, and lesser salt. Also, it will be helpful to customize your burger and delete mayo. With deleting mayo, you can subtract 100 calories. But be careful, not all fish is healthy. If the fish is fried, it really rips it off from all the benefits. You can also go for mech grill which is grilled version of mech chicken and be safe. So here I have with me two very popular desserts, brownie and mech flurry Oreo. Between Oreo mech flurry and brownie with chocolate sauce, go for Oreo mech flurry it comes with 100 calories less, lesser sugar and lesser saturated fats. But not all calories are created equal. Empty calories often leave you thirsty and with more cravings. So make sure in the following meals you hydrate yourself, have coconut water or salad with lemon dressing. The calories from fat in the brownie are much higher as compared to McFlurry. Just adding 100 calories per day to your diet can lead to adding 5 kgs of weight in a year. Today I've ordered two pizzas. One is wheat thin crust farmhouse and the other one is wedge extravaganza with the pan crust. I would definitely go for the wheat crust pizza one slice of a medium thin crust pizza will be equivalent to one chapati. As opposed to in the pan crust pizza, one slice will be equal to one and a half chapatis. So make sure you practice portion control while indulging in your pizzas. The crust of the thin crust pizza is majorly made with wheat as opposed to the pan tossed pizza is refined flour. Also, there might be added sugars in the sauces which are used for making the pizza. Make sure you always load up your pizza with lots of veggies. But if you are watching your blood pressure, stay away from olives, banana peppers and jalapenos. Many people like to add oregano to their pizza, but it is very high in salt. So it will make you more dehydrated and make you retain water. So stay away from it and if you can't, make sure you have at least 2-3 to three glasses of water after having your pizza. Many people are under a dilemma that they can work out their way through eating junk foods. But junk foods increases oxidative stress in the body which will make them age faster. So don't make it a habit and indulge only as a treat. I've got 
my dose of junk food advice and I hope you have too. Catch you next week on other restaurants by. Till then, stay healthy. That's a wrap to another episode. Enjoy your December. And remember, we won't be happy with what you call fit. Not until you're at your fittest.